I was completely wrong, and thanks to Mia Aure, one of the best gemology content creators, I finally figured it out. A while ago, I identified this gemstone as a fake opal, said it was 100% plastic. I even thought about throwing it away. But your comment and Mia's video made me reopen the case. I soaked it in water to check for hydrophane, and look, while hydrated, it turned transparent and lost most play of color. A few hours later, it's white again. That's classic Ethiopian opal behavior. I redid all my tests with all I know now. Specific gravity is 1.90, just below ideal, but can be excused. It's isotropic with slight ADR, normal for opal. Refractive index was tricky to read, around 1.42, which is expected for opal. I had that completely wrong when I first tested it, don't ask me why. Under UV light, I get a whitish reaction. Under magnification, it's transparent and still shows play of color. For reference, here's how it looked before hydration. So, thanks to Mia Ray and your comments on the original video, I'm glad I didn't toss this stone as plastic. Opals keep surprising me the more I learn about them, right?